Okay, okay good morning, everybody, and welcome to Setting the Stage for Summer Success. Presenting today is Mary Beth Harrison Cunningham and Shade Noel from the Family Resource Center. So, ladies, welcome. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, we're so excited to be here today. Um, as Lisa said, um, I'm Mary Beth Harrison Cunningham, and I happen to be the manager here at the Family Resource Center. Um, and just wanted to give you a little information about myself and then Sade is, is going to introduce herself. Um, but I am a career educator. Um, I'm finishing up actually my 39th school year. Um, I can't even believe that it's been that many years. Um, but most of my time uh, when I was in school was spent working with students with special education needs, and in particular kids with more significant emotional and behavioral disabilities. Um, but um, I've been a classroom teacher. Yo también es have worked in central office um, as um, a curriculum specialist. Um, and also a peer support liaison for any of you who know what that is. Um, that is a, a support person that works with a pair of schools um, supporting special education processes. And then I spent eight years as an assistant principal um, here in Fairfax County um, uh, at a high school, um, working with students with pretty significant emotional and behavioral needs as well um, before coming here to the Family Resource Center. So, so um, I've had a varied career, but um, one thing that I've always really enjoyed is working with families. So I'm really excited to be sharing this information with you all today. Um, on a personal level, I'm actually a mom of three, um, a stepmom to two of those children, and I have one of my own. Um, they are all grown adults. Um, but I will tell you that. There were many summers when we were trying to figure out what we were going to do um, and how we were going to be able to help and manage um, and support our children um, with their activities over the summer. So very excited to share that information with you guys today. Um, yes, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, my name is Shade Noel. Me I'm a Shade Noel. here at the Family Resource Center. Yes, I'm a little bit about my background. So um, my background is in mental health yes, and also early child development. I was a daycare director for many years. Um, and I was also a sign language interpreter. I'm fluent in the sign language. Um, so but throughout my daycare years, I've spent a lot of time planning out summer camps and summer activities. Um, for youth um, ages six weeks He to um, about kindergarten age. Um, and I also have a seven-year-old of my own. Um, so I'm planning to go along with you all. I'll be using a lot of these tips and tricks um, that we're giving you today. Um, so you're not alone. And I'm also military-connected. My husband is in the military, go Army. Um, so I also have that perspective of the transitions and what that looks like and how they are joyful and sometimes they're not so joyful. So thank you for joining us today. And I hope you take a lot of out of this webinar. Okay, so... Here are our outcomes for today. Um, today we want to hablar to hoy. help you to um, explore your community hoy and give you the tools um, to explore explorar la comunidad um, y tener las herramientas que necesita para conocer la comunidad. To, um, También queremos ayudarles a conectar con las familias. Um, that may not come easy to all, so we Esto no es fácil. Some guidelines for that. Voy a explicar um, cómo se we'll tiene que hacer. Y también quiero darles recursos que pueden ayudar para construir habilidades y también lo más importante, pasárselo bien. ¿Qué podemos hacer para pasárnoslo bien este verano? Ok, so before we dive in, we want to take a note on self-care. Right. So because you know we're our children are in school throughout the school. Pues so, so, you know, the teachers are planning their days. Y son so, las maestras que hacen los planes. Have fulfilled days too. So it can be a little bit of 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 a little b
Right. Las mamás so, no tenemos dad, este, you know, prepare, so, este, esta carrera. Water, no sabemos siempre you know, cómo llenar you know, el día. Y tenemos que planear el día, pero también relajar. Tenemos que pensar lo que funciona para mí, quizás no funciona para otro. También tenemos que respirar y relajar. Eh, también tenemos que luchar para no compararnos. Es muy fácil eh, caer en la depresión si estamos siempre mirando a los demás. Mirando. Y luego tenemos que hacer todo poco a poco, saber nuestras situaciones, saber que no podemos hacer todo, ni nos hace falta. Y también hay que saber pedir ayuda. Por ejemplo, si hay un grupo de niños que todos van a, la, a las mismas colonias, los mismos campamentos, pues habla con las mamás para que puedan organizar un carpool. ¿Qué son las actividades que más le gusta en su familia? Se puede ir a comer fuera, puede ir a la playa, puede ir al museo. Ponlo en el chat, por favor, escríbenos lo que más, lo que más les gusta hacer en su familia. Comer fuera, picnic, playa, museos. O... También los parques de agua. Awesome. I see a lot of bees, water park, anything like water. Bien, veo que hay mucha gente que le gusta mucho ir al parque de atracciones acuáticas. Great. So my favorites are um, B and D. I love anything. Oh, swim team. Awesome. También me encanta la I love anything water related. Yo también me encanta todo lo que tiene que ver con el agua. Pero también hace mucho calor en verano y está muy bien estar bien. ¿Cómo, cómo te sientes cuando hablamos del plan de planificar el verano? ¿Es un agobiante? ¿Estás con el visión? ¿Estás lista? ¿O estás un poco preocupada? ¿O estás pensando, bueno, todo irá bien? ¿O estás pensando, cómo puede ser que ya estamos en verano? Todo el mundo está poniendo en el chat, hey, sí, hago bien nada. Hay gente que están convencidos que, bueno, todo es bien. Realize that it's summer. That's so funny. I think I'm between B and C. Like I'm ready. Yo estoy um, entre B y C. Estoy lista y espero que todo va bien. Right? Because I want to rest. So, Porque yo también quiero descansar. Yo quiero descansar. Awesome. Okay, so we have created. Um, nosotros hemos hecho un recurso digital que se puede ver en el tablet que se llama Sobrevivir el verano. Es cómo hacer una reunión familiar. Y hacer una lista de actividades. Cuidarse a uno mismo. Y también vamos a mandar una lista de recursos. En otros idiomas también. Y compartir con otra gente que no habla inglés. Ok. Okay, so okay, it's time, time to plan. Okay, so let's not freak out. It's going to be okay. All right. Todo va a ir bien. Um, I, I would like for you to spend a little bit of time thinking about what are your goals for the summer. Um, so, is it a vacation? Um, is it just more family time? Um, 
do you want your children to support the family by doing some chores this summer? Maybe some things that they're not used to doing. Um, is it that you just want to be able to eat dinner together? More um, I'd like for you to maybe share um, some of those goals. Those things that you started to think about. If you can put those in the chat. La uh, we would love to just kind of hear what might ver. some of your goals be um, for the summer. Okay, all the things. All oh, right, absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. Um, are there things I didn't mention that you may have, have um, been thinking about? You know, is it that you want your child to do some a lot more oh, I love this. Sensory related exposure. I love that. You know, um, vacation plus maintaining academics. Totally understand that. Family games, right? Sometimes we just, during the school year, don't have time to get to do that. Um, switch off camp so can have one on one time with each child. I love that. What a great opportunity. I love to play with dirt and sand, right? In the water. So much. Um, teaching them what they didn't learn in school. Oh, I, I, you know, um, I certainly understand that, you know, you all may have some, some concerns about, you know, just some loss that our students have had over the course of the last few years. So completely understand. Okay. Um, no, thanks, thanks for sharing, everyone. Gracias por compartir todo. So I want to spend just um, a little minute um, talking about just um, the art of the family meeting. And um, as Shade mentioned, um, in the Padlet that we created, there's actually a video and some instructions around how to create kind of a family meeting and what that might look like. Um, a calendar is a wonderful place to start. Es muy bueno um, and what a calendar el... does is it allows you as a family to kind of plan what's happening on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. You um, can record, um, you know, if you have camps going on, you know, and where is that camp and what the types of that camp might be. Um, if there's a family vacation coming up, you know, other planned commitments, maybe you're making a small trip to visit family or friends. Um, so that can be added. Uh, you know, um, maybe there are some differences in, in if, if uh, work schedules. Um, and so maybe there's some opportunity um, to put that in as well. Um, maybe you can even pencil in like when dinner time is every day. So especially um, if you have older children, like teenagers, who might be doing lots of different things during the day, um, you know, if your goal is to maybe have more family dinner time, you know, putting dinner time on the calendar, so everybody knows when that's going to happen, is really helpful. Um, yeah. So again, I will tell you, um, there are so many places online just to get a blank calendar um, that you can type stuff in if you want to do it that way or write things in. Um, you know, there are certainly um, different types of calendars that you can get um, that you can write on and erase using dry erase markers and things like that. So whatever might be beneficial for your family, um, whether it's by the week or by the day, sometimes it's just putting up a daily calendar just so that everybody's on board. Um, but something to think about, you know, when you're talking about your priorities um, and your goals this summer with your family. So some things I would like for you to start to think about is Having an opportunity for your children to do something that's active, something that may be helpful, something that is maybe calming. Uh, so um, let's start with a few suggestions. So something active, thinking about, is there a time of day that might be better? You know, we know it's going to get hot. Like we know it's going to be like 90 degrees today. Uh, we know that our summers get super hot here. So um, it's better that maybe they're doing something active in the morning before it gets too hot. Or like if water play or things like that is something that you're doing with your with your family, you know, maybe that later afternoon um, might be a better time. So thinking about movement, 
thinking about yeah, is it an opportunity for your children to kind of get loud and just enjoy and run around and, and experience something, um, making sure that that might be something fun, something that they might like to be doing. When we think about something helpful, um, ¿Cuándo sería un buen momento durante el día para que los hijos hagan algo que les ayuda? ¿Es la cama o la noche? ¿Poner la cama? Then, are there projects that maybe families work on um, in your home, and it's something that they can do to support that? And certainly, there's always opportunities if your family likes to do community-based um, activities. Are there opportunities in helping others? You know, volunteering. Um, you know, I always. I often suggest, social, siempre hay oportunidades para kind of comunidad, sobre todo en los primeros mayores, oportunidades para que ayuden a la comunidad. Y so para los niños también, ¿cómo pueden you know? ayudar a los demás? Eso también tendría que ser algo tranquilo. Um, Tranquilo, después de comer, justo antes de dormir. Es una gran batalla en las mesas. Say not in school and not have things that they need to be doing in the evening and so screen time. Um, they may be pushing you a little bit for more screen time. Um, but um, I, I will share with you that, that research has told us that screen time right before bedtime es que interferes with bedtime and sleep. Um, and so, um, you know, I will say that one to two hours. Before your child would go to bed, les, you know, would be a time where they could just do something that's more calming. El sueño. Uh, maybe it's reading. Maybe it is a family puede game. Leer, puede uh, ser something like that, but not doing screens no, before bedtime no, um, is really important just for your child to be able to get into that good REM sleep at night. Para poder, mm, agarrar All right. El sueño. So, Speaking of sleep, let's let's talk a little bit about it. Vamos a hablar un poco de um, I will share with you that um, we were so fortunate to do um, here with the Family Resource Center a webinar with our friends at the National Institute of Mental Health and their sleep study team. And we have a two-part series that we've recorded um, from earlier this school year uh, that is on our YouTube channel. And we're going to share that link with you. Uh, so if you're interested in hearing more about Sleep, muy interesante um, and kind of the whole sueño. biology of sleep, what del sueño, sleep means and look like. Um, we really have to listen to that. We won't get into all those things right now, but just some things for you to think about with regard to sleep. I think first and foremost, having that good bedtime routine is really important, even in the summer. Muy it's so hard for kids to transition back in the fall if they've not had a good sleep pattern in the summer. Um, so just be mindful of that. Certainly, you know, if they stay up a half hour or an hour later, that's not going to hurt them. If they have no bedtime, pero that tiene que tener una hora de so just be tomar. thinking about that. Helping kids understand, you know, that sleep actually gives Todos us the tienen que entender que right? el sueño es lo que les da energía. Tienen que dormir para, para pensar mejor, para moverse mejor, and so para ver. Having our children, and, you know, understand that. That's really, really critical. El porqué de um, Again, turn off those screens. Luego, um, repito, apaga la pantalla. Some positive and calming things. Luego, um, you know, know, maybe even sitting with the child, you know, especially when they're younger, and talk about, like, the good things that happen that day. Or if they've done something that was super positive, positive and you're really pasado. proud of them. O todo, um, todo lo que te hace feliz, todo lo que hace el mundo que te hace After dinner tonight, that was really helpful. Um, or asking them to share with you about their camp day um, and something that they really enjoyed. Um, sometimes just having those special conversations in the evening um, is just really calming. 
Our children feel better about themselves. They're going to bed on a more positive note. Um, and we, we as their parents feel really good about it too. Because we have those really great conversations with our children. Okay, so uh, this piggybacks on what Mary Beth was just saying, right? To keep a routine for your children. This is an example of what we're saying. So this is an example of what we're saying. This is an example of what we're saying. This is an example of what we're saying. So, you know, we still want to have routines for them. So they still have breakfast the same time. Siempre con la rutina. Darnos cuenta que la rutina es importante. En verano se puede estudiar las horas, pero tener rutina es importante. Se tiene que desayunar a la misma hora. Por ejemplo, las horas. O antes o después. Les va a ayudar mucho. Volver a la escuela en otoño y han vivido con un horario. En verano cansamos mucho porque hacemos calor. Entonces, tener una hora para ir a la ayuda mucho. Vamos a compartir las horas y las edades que se recomiendan quedarse esto es un horario de un ejemplo si los niños van a campamento o daycare entonces en general nosotros sabemos que es un niños que tengan un horario normalmente funciona mejor. Necesitan un horario. Si no van a campamentos también necesitan un horario. Tienen que saber lo que van a hacer durante el día, qué actividades van a tener, cuándo van a descansar, qué van a hacer para ayudarte. Right. And then also y van a tener a una hora para llegar okay, a la casa. So so okay. Okay. Right. So um, Son ideas, you know, actividades. So, a a movement activity. Actividades que donde tienen que moverse, sería caminar, hacer yoga, ir de excursión, ir en bicicleta, un patinete, crear muchos sitios, solo que buscar en internet. Y puedes construir cabañas, hacer, hacer pintamas. Puedes enseñarles cómo ir en bicicleta, patinete. Pero otra cosa es este tiempo de calidad que usamos juntos. Caminar juntos, excursiones juntos. Uno, llevar un niño con bicicleta que va a hacer algo. Y a lo mejor un niño va al campamento y se queda con el otro. Es decir, tiempo de calidad. Luego hay todo tiempo de manualidades que se puede hacer. Podemos cocinar juntos, pintar, hacer manualidades. Luego hay responsabilidades. Son muy, es muy importante que los niños tengan responsabilidades, encargos que, que, que tienen que hacer y si no lo hacen, pues algo no funciona. Por ejemplo, ayudar con hermanos, doblar ropa, hacer eh, los deberes. Tiempo para deberes cada día. Hay muchas cosas que se puede hacer en la computadora para mantener, para mantener todo lo que aprendí, para no olvidar. Es muy bueno tener un rato de deberes cada día, un rato también 
Estos son los, right. los recursos. So, this is how you can find out about more activities in the Hay muchas actividades en los recursos. 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 Hay muchas Um, we also created the Padlet, like I told you, on summer activities. Um, don't worry about writing all of these links down. Um, we'll send it to you and we'll email to you. Okay. We also have a summer camp guide that includes general camps. Um, and we also include special needs camps. So if your child um, has ADHD, there's a camp for them. And also campamentos for children with needs. So we have... Um, a lot of good resources to share. There's also an adaptive recreation guide. Um, and there's also help for the de, de activities and there's adaptadas. Adaptadas. Con dificultades, okay. disabilities. And we invite you to um, get on social media. Social media is <coughs> huge when it comes to groups. Right, parents and groups, neighborhoods. Eh, puedes groups. mirar so en redes sociales que hay muchos grupos y muchos sugerencias right? a la comunidad. Right, so if you're all going to the same camp, todos the van same al mismo campamento, pues sí te ayuda para que una mamá quiera los niños un día y otra mamá los otros. Um, also follow some local organizations, social media pages, because there's always events popping up. The summer is the time for a lot of events. Para um, they know that children are out of school, and they know that you know you're looking for things to do with children. In the community, so you can get more um, ideas. Niños que no van a las um, and then also, you can call y us and we'll talk you through it. Um, we'll put our email in the chat. Um, and we'll also send us. También. We offer free and confidential consultations. También ofrecemos um, so ayuda gratis. Si tiene alguna pregunta o necesita sugerencias, siempre puede contactarnos. Okay. So let's talk about some chores. Um, Vamos a hablar de encargos. So you, your children may already have some chores that they're doing during the school year, um, but maybe there's some additional things. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about encargos um, or chores, but en casa. Um, I do want to share with you Pero creo that que es muy importante. our children that having chores teaches them so many different things. Ser responsabilidades um, en casa es muy importante. Aprenden uno, es muy responsable. Dos, les permite que organizarse uh, para poder hacer lo que tienen que hacer y lo que quieren hacer. Uh, it, it it también es muy importante terminar una tarea. Y también es importante que se sienten parte de la familia. Uh, and in fact, what I will tell you is, is employers um, appreciate um, all those skills that chores de, because de, de, that's de, what de, they're looking de, for in their personas, um, so something to think about. I know maybe you have a five-year-old and you're not necessarily thinking about them going out into the world and, and working yet. Um, but I will tell you that building those skills from a young age um, will only help your child Um, be a more um, responsible, cargos, um, creative, casa. Uh, serán más creativos, serán más responsables. And so that is something that I know we as parents really want padres, to support our children in doing. Tenemos que eh, um, en casa. So, um, so for summer chores, let's think about for a minute um, some things that they can be doing, para el verano. Um, whether that's organizing their toys, Um, and that can happen, you know, very little one. Um, you know, and uh, so switching out toys, maybe, maybe they've outgrown some toys. And this is an opportunity to actually give them back to your community. You know, are there some toys that your child could, you know, they don't play with anymore, they've outgrown. Could they pull those toys together and donate those to um, you know, Goodwill, to a local shelter? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a really great opportunity to teach even giving back to your community with regard to just that one activity. Um, 
maybe your child um, is and your family is interested in in you know uh, having a new play or learning space in your home. También se puede construir you know, un lugar nuevo en casa para you know, what would they like to see un rincón de juego uh, o so, you know, cuarto de jugar, algo así. Um, I'm going to show you a chart in a second to give you some ideas about age-appropriate chores, but I will tell you that um, children as young as 18 months Niños muy pequeños, I know that sounds funny, but when you think about it, um, I work with a family um, not too long ago who's 18-month-old um, who's so interested in the washer and dryer. Que tenía un niño de niño ayudaba a ponerlo en la cocina, ponerlo en la cocina, ponerlo en la cocina, what we do with the clothes, this is where we put the clothes, um, and it was that, that child got so much enjoyment out of this helping things out of a dryer, um, and that's something as a skill that goes on, because I will say my 20-year-old, I started teaching her how to do her own laundry in elementary school, um, her dad and I both worked outside the home, it was really important that she contribute to the family and help. Eh, parte de la familia es hacer la ropa, hacer la ropa, hacer la ropa, hacer la ropa, la ropa, hacer la de jabón, hacer la ropa, hacer la ropa, Chores produce life skills, and so that's just something. Son habilidades, estos trabajos um, que pedimos a nuestros hijos. So let's talk about maybe some age appropriate. Nos ayudará a pagar toda la vida. Um, so when Vamos you're looking at younger children, you know, again, just being their boys in their career. How, how many times, and, and I remember this as, as, uh, as a as parent of a young child, pequeños, did I wind up putting toys mayor. away? And I was like, wait a minute, no. there's something wrong with this. I just like these toys. Um, so helping Esto them uh, put their, you know, having them put their toys away, helping set the table. I will tell you that if it's a new skill that you are teaching your child, a new chore, um, help model it for them. Because I will tell you, just telling your children to clean their bathroom, their idea of clean, porque si tú dices, guarda todo o limpia el baño, okay. a un so, mayor limpia el baño, tu idea de limpiar el baño puede ser diferente de la idea de que you tienes a checklist, cómo limpiar el baño. Okay? Clean the toilet, wash out the shower, shower, you know, enseñarles uh, lo que queremos sure right y luego exigirlo. Uh, so, uh, that's que really necesitan. important too, because what happens if, if that communication doesn't happen, there's a lot of hurt feelings on both sides. Porque si no se and we're angry feelings, right? Because you might come and be like, oh, why did you not get this done? And the child is frustrated because, well, you told me to do it. And so then you have another argument. You know, then you're arguing. We don't want, we don't want to cause that stress. Right? So if it's a new chore, especially, 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 if it's a new Um, so again, sucia en su sitio. just taking a look at some of these papers, um, and, maybe, and as you can see, polvo. as your children get older, they can do more things. Um, you know, I will tell you that you know, some of the the chores that kids will do when they're teenagers, they can kind of make money at, like mowing the lawn. Maybe they mow your lawn, but maybe they can mow the neighbor's lawn and make some money. Um, Maybe they're, uh, they love walking dogs. O pueden pasear perros para un vecino. The dog walk, you know, twice a day or something like that. Or the, or the neighbors go on vacation and need someone to watch the dog. Um, you know, your, your, your older children can participate in that and actually pueden hacer muchas de estas cosas. learn pueden some life skills ayudar. around just earning money and doing pueden a ganar también. and, you know, helping someone out. Y ayudar. Um, So, and again, we will provide you a copy of this presentation. Vamos a darles una copia de esto para que sepan. I don't want you to worry. I, I'm, I no probably see some of you maybe, you know, taking pictures, and that's great. Veo que están haciendo fotos de la pantalla, y esto está muy bien, pero nosotros right. vamos a enseñar. So, again, helping them be successful with chores is really important. Es muy importante ayudarles a tener éxito en los cargos en casa. I want to remind you that even 
our toughest teenagers y quiero recordar like to be praised for doing something todo el mundo, incluso los so, adolescentes, um, todo el mundo tiene que escuchar que la mamá o el papá them, dice cuando hey, hayan hecho so bien cleaning your bathroom. You did such a great job. It just helps our family so much. When es muy importante it. decir, por ejemplo, gracias so por ayudarme. To your teenager. Yeah, granted, they need to shrug their shoulders and walk away from eh, you. But when they're walking away from you, they're probably smiling bien. and they're thinking to themselves. Es una gran ayuda para nuestra familia. Um, este reinforcing that positive and that self-esteem is, is another wonderful outcome of chores. It helps to build our child's worth and their resilience, uh, which is, and perseverance. Saber um, que hacen all these las cosas skills that we know we want our children to have. Están contentos uh, es muy importante. Okay. So, as part of chores, you may Parte want to consider del, creating a chore chart. El tema de los encargos de los chores puede crear un proyecto familiar, puede crear un and we would put, um, un calendario like o kind of un horario uh, so con los trabajos que tienen que hacer los niños. Y ella And so anytime that she did one of her chores, Cada she got that jar in, or sticker, bien, and then what we came up with was, was there some things that she wanted to earn después, as a result of adding up all those things? Um, and that was really motivating for her. Sometimes it was money, like because she wanted to go to the you know, store and buy something that she really wanted, there, really wanted there, or it was um, going just to Target or you know, Target. going you know, out to dinner, no sale, um, no like nada. getting to pick where she wanted to go to dinner or going out for ice cream. So involve your child cuando hacen you know, coming up with are oh, there some things that you know might be might be a reward for you um, when you get all your chores done especially for your ch your children who might be more resistant to doing chores um, no that they see and they have a visual of Quizás algo what que pueden mirar es mucho that chore is, is if there's a checklist that they need to use and they also then have that visual y también of, ver wow look at this I've got all these stickers or I've all these han hecho, you know I had a colleague who was really struggling with her daughter doing chores her daughter was like nine Yo tenía una and amiga, the daughter just hija con nueve años que no quería hacer los trabajos and en casa. so um, what she wound up doing was her daughter really wanted to earn an allowance ganar because she wanted to buy things at the craft store. And mom just kept working out money. And I finally said to her, said, dijo, Yo no puedo like, why are you doing that? She's not helping you at home. Yo le pregunté, ¿Por qué le das and the mom was like, ayuda? <laughs> you're La right. So what her daughter wanted, what worked for her was they had a cork board in the kitchen. And she had the title of the chair and she actually pinned like dollar bills y ella, so, bueno, so no es, it was a dollar or two dollars to unload the dishwasher ella, or it was you know a dollar to clean the table or whatever the case would be so when she would do billetes, that she would earn la niña podía that money ver, anyway. and honestly, and honestly, I will tell you in less than a month there were no more arguments about chores. Y después, en menos there were no more bad faces Ella entendía que en su parte, ella tenía que so, hacer sus encargos y los papás también. I will tell you too, so if you're looking for other ideas around chore charts or things like that, I find I love Pinterest. I'm going to put a big plug out there for Pinterest. They have so many things up there that are free, you know, that you can take a look at. Son recursos gratis so, que puedes a look at Pinterest. Puedes ir a Pinterest. Any, you know, if, especially if you're looking for um, any type of charts or things like Todo that. Todo tipo de horario o calendario uh, that you might Pinterest be looking for. Ideas. So I want to share this with you. This is another way of getting your family involved in creating goals for the summer. And this is kind of your summer bucket list. 
you know, what do you guys want to do over the summer? What are our goals? What do we want to do? And so um, I love the middle one here, which is summer buck, you know, like a bingo, which is kind of fun. Um, and then when, you, you know, maybe when the family gets bingo, um, you know, you have a special I love the bucket list that you can see over on the left there with like making tie-dye shirts. Like how fun is that? Um, going to a farmer's market. Um, making slime. Y luego, we actually have a video on our YouTube channel about how to make slime. Uh, um, and uh, eating and a snow cone, like fun, right? And it can be little things. It can be little things, but what it does is it gets your family excited about doing things. Yeah. Um, okay. How many times have you heard your children say, I'm bored? ¿Cuántas veces es no que los niños dicen, uh, estoy aburrido, estoy aburrido? Vamos a hacer un, un vaso, un vaso de aburrimiento. Esto es algo que pueden utilizar los niños. Es un vaso, un carro lleno de ideas, de cosas que pueden hacer cuando están aburridos. Entonces, cuando dicen, estoy aburrido, mamá tiene que decir, mire, si está aburrido, ve a agarrar algo del movimiento. Y ahí tiene muchísimas cosas que puede hacer cuando está aburrido. Cosas que pueden hacer cuando aburrido. Entonces, se escribe juntos. Podemos hacer una reunión familiar. So if you take a look at some of these, you know, ship paintings, bowling, aburrido. draw with chalk, you know, they can make, make a video, they hacer un video. can listen to music, they can, um, you know, whatever. Um, but what it does, because we know that a lot of our families, um, both parents may work outside of the home. And even if you don't work outside of the home and you're wor you are working inside your home, there are things sometimes that we have to do as adults Muchas that we have to be able to do and our children need to be able to, que los niños tienen you know, que as they're appropriate, Sin uh, so this gives you an opportunity to not argue jugar, with them. Or maybe you're teleworking. Like I just remember this. You're teleworking no and they're running at you. You know, you're in the middle of a meeting and, and somebody's coming in. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Mira, I'm hungry. Um, um, mira, so all you just have to do is I work with a colleague who would just put the sign and say, board jar. Like not even talk. And just put up a sign and said to them, and the kids were like, yeah, I have to go to the board job. Uh, so, um, it's fun. Um, and you can get really creative with things that, uh, that you can do in your job. Y quitamos la pantalla muchas cosas que se pueden hacer. Right, so pueden I just kind of went through that with you. Um, es eh, como una lista de cómo hacer este barro de aburrimiento. It's fun. It gives you an opportunity to be able to step away. It gives them an opportunity to do something independent. And that's really what we want. That's not meaning that they have to be by themselves all day long. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is sometimes they need to be able to do things independently. That's a life skill. You know, that they're able to take something and do it independently. El hecho de que hacer algo solo y jugar right? solos. Um, we want them because some days they're going to live on their own. Hopefully, they're going to be solos you know, día, y going que off to tener. college or going off to, to the military or going to the military or going to the military. They're going to be able to learn how to be by themselves. Cómo, and do things cómo pasárselo so, bien. This, is a, this gives them a really great opportunity. Diciendo lo que tienen que hacer. Esto es okay. Let's talk about menu planning and food choices. Ahora vamos a hablar de uh, cómo organizar. Sometimes we don't think about that. We're maybe doing stuff on the fly. Um, you know, planear there is an opportunity for families who like menus. to menu plan uh, together. Uh, this gives you another thing. Um, this is an opportunity for Todo el mundo puede lo que gusta comer, lo que gusta comer. You know, it's hot, like, you know, we're not eating maybe, maybe heavy no comemos food. tanto en verano. 
are there some things that they might enjoy? How can they help you plan? Right? Sometimes it's always left up to one person in the home to plan the meals for the week. It's bueno hacer give them an opportunity to help you do this. Um, and we're also going to talk about just maybe just some food choices as well. Again, I refer you to Pinterest. They have some wonderful, great menu planning um, ideas. Uh, so I don't want you to worry that you have to recreate this and do all this on your own. There are so many resources out there to help you. If you want, give us a call. We'll problem solve. So healthy eating over the summer. We know when kids get bored, sometimes they want to eat, right? They're not really hungry. So maybe thinking about just having healthy choices over the summer. Snacks. That may be that would that may set them up for some better success. Um, you know, how do we include summer foods? Um, in our diet, bueno you know, those fruits verano. and vegetables that are really Luta, plentiful verdura. in the summer. And also, too, kind of tracking what's on sale. Like, I know, we all know, grocery prices are really skyrocketed post-COVID. And um, so, sitting down and looking at the sale paper from Giant or Wegmans or Aldi or claro, whatever you do shopping, está, está and you, this can become actually an academic comida, work with your child. Venta, um, bien having bien them look at the sale prices, you, having them plan out a, a list with you, y having them um, de rebajas, que determine te like how much money are we saving if we buy this set of meat this week cuánto dinero ganamos, cuánto ganamos, typically buy, right? No compramos esta marca deals. y compramos otra marca. And so understanding when things are on sale or Entender, you know, looking at, at prices um, on the shelf. My husband Entender, is really good about looking at the, the tags on the shelf. To see how much it is el etiqueta. Per item. So like, you know, the, like how much is it per ounce or how much is it? O cada cuesta, see, wow, it's cuesta. actually even if I get the larger size and spend a little more money, it's actually cost less. Vale un poco you más, kids have, pero you know, es más económico por onda. Entonces, en el fondo, es una compra so más económica. Puedes ayudar um, a los niños a entender. You know, with your to come up with a food y luego trabajar con los niños That's para que los niños cojan la comida and y se comprometan a su pantalla. Organizar la and especially if your children are younger and they're not as tall, you know, that, that there would be maybe snacks on lower shelves that they can access, that, you know, you've approved of, and that they can actually go into the pantry and access. Um, so these are just some pictures of what that might look like. Um, whether you have a snack cart, un perrito de los snacks. Um, you know, whether um, I love the pictures on the left where kids get options about how to choose different types of snacks. Es lo que and if you notice that, that proteínas, really pretty healthy verdura, snacks there, um, and so kids get choices like you can choose one, escoger. you can choose two. Todo, uh, todo, and, todo, la, todo lo que hay. Uh, so again, just es something sano. to think about um, when you're th you're thinking about. Um, food choices and menus. And I would put a big plug in for an activity that's wonderful is having them cook with you. And I know that, Chad that. Maravilloso um, que cocinar juntos. you know, we started my, our youngest was in the kitchen with us all the time because our, our, my stepchildren didn't live with us full time. Me and me you know, she was on a chair me next me to my husband me learning me how to make pizza sauce because uh, we love making homemade pizza at our house. Hacer um, pizza. But over time, we actually, she started packing her own lunches. Um, kind of in the middle of, probably about fourth or fifth grade, um, certainly with the supervision, but, you know, it, we, you know, we had kind of an, uh, you know, a procedure or a schedule about what could go in the lunch, but she would pack it, um, so everybody packed their own lunch at our house, it was great, like not one person was at that job. Um, and, you know, now as an adult living in her own apartment, she cooks for herself. She knows how to grocery shop. Um, again, life skills, right? These are wonderful opportunities for life skills. All right, I am going to turn it back over to Sade. 
Okay, so we just discussed, you know, all of the activities and summer planning. Hemos hablado de muchas actividades. We also think that this is really important to hold space for any challenges that kids. Pero también tenemos que prepararnos para cosas que puedan también. Additional emotions. Some additional emotions and stresses over the Ejemplo, summer. And a ver, que va a haber so malo, a veces habrá mal humor en casa. Um, so habrá cosas que nos estresa. Tener los niños en casa todo el día, por ejemplo, nos puede estresar. Y es importante pensar cómo vamos a jugar. No van a ir a la escuela, no van a tener deberes. Habrá emociones fuertes. Para it, unos um, niños es muy school, difícil no ir a la escuela. Really Puede ser uh, una fuente de frustración um, para los niños. O los niños tienen que ir a campamentos de daycare o pasar el tiempo en casa de otra gente de familia. Y a veces esto es un poco expresante para el niño. Entonces, vamos a verlo. That this that disrupt their sleep routines, right? Because some people will follow your same routines that you have set. Frustrar y entonces no duermen bien. Stress um, on a child, and we need to honor their emotions when they um, when they arise, right? So we often think of summer months as carefree and relaxing, but a lot of kids actually it's it's very very no no es el momento de relajar because right? there's Little structure, the shifting routine. Hay poco horario, so hay cambio de rutina. Cosas que estresan. Really right? So let's go into some of those things. Vamos a hablar un poco de esto. ¿Qué the podemos the hacer so cuando tenemos un plano que no, que no nos descansa? Everything we discussed um, over the course of this webinar. So we need balanced nutrition, right? We just went over that. Um, balanced nutrition also includes treats. So a popular treat over the summer is s'mores. You can still have s'mores, right? But we still need to balance our nutrition. So mm -hmm. s'mores and lots of fruits and veggies, everything that Mary Beth Sana, does. Sana, y a veces algo right? un algo uh, un Plenty of water, oh, right? Un Because it's really hot over the summer. Es mucho calor. Es muy importante beber mucho. Um, so we want to make sure that children are hydrated, And we don't want them to get to the right that the kids have all the hydration they need to have um, on our plates, right? And having some exercise too. So we talked about moving and moving and moving, right? Um, a consistent pues sleep routine, we discussed all of these things. It's so important, but there are basic things that we still need to be reminded of that help children, you know, regulate their emotions. Um, Unstructured play, downtime, all of these Luego, things. Un horario, lo que es es un horario para descansar. Um, un horario another para thing we talked about trabajar. was maintaining a sleep routine. Like I just mentioned, when we're on vacation or children are maybe spending time at sleepaway camp or they're spending time only, with family, um, que tienen que dormir friends, fuera porque van a um, you know, sleep can look different. O van a casa de sleep, parientes. Sleep pero es muy importante que tengan un horario para dormir, porque si no duermen suficiente, van a estar de mal humor, no se va a encontrar bien. Y luego poner normas, reglas, sobre todo, sobre todo con las pantallas, el tablet y el teléfono. We're putting on a movie, but how often? It's okay, right? But how often? Utilizar el tablet para cuando los padres tienen que hacer algo y decimos ahora ponemos una película y voy a trabajar, pero tienes que tener unas reglas. But what I tend to do is I don't bring the iPad, or if I do bring it, then it's in a bag, you know, in the front where my child can't reach it, and we talk about what we see. Right, let's talk Yo about what we see on the way. How many red cars do you see? Cuando vaya a salir fuera, deja el tablet en casa y utiliza estas salidas a comprar o a pasear o a visitar como oportunidades para hablar con los niños. Es muy importante 
this. Tener, right? So pues, we need to start you know, con las like the sample um, schedules that we um, showed you. They all incorporate some screen time. Because Todos los horarios que hemos comentado hoy, hay tiempo de pantalla, pero es un tiempo, ¿no? Es un tiempo, saben que van a ver la pantalla, van a ver el teléfono un ratito, pero es un ratito nomás. No hace falta que estén mucho de tiempo. Estamos creando recuerdos, creando recuerdos. No hace falta gastar dinero para crear recuerdos. Jugar, ir a jugar, lo que quieren los niños el tiempo con los padres. Cocinar juntos, hacer deporte juntos, jugar juntos. Um, you know, mentioned earlier, these all can be, you know, quality time with your children. Um, even when you're making the chore chart, make it together. You know, what are some things that you think you can help me with around the house? Right? So just that quality time and really engaging with your children. Also help with all of your emotions and stressors over the summer, right? Um, We don't really want to worry about like how that that time is spent with them. They just want to be with you. Los niños quieren estar con right? los papás. Um, but we do want to some travel too. Entonces, hay que planificar para que podamos estar tiempo juntos. And we can go a pesar de que el, I, um, I truly feel like travel is super important. You learn so much about yourself traveling and so much about viajar the world you live in. And how we can make no hace falta viajar muy lejos. So it might be easy to get 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 to ¿Qué uh, quiere hacer este viernes de ustedes? Um, Mamá, por ejemplo, um, puede decir, si los mamá tiene unas horas libres. ¿Qué quieren hacer? Um, you know, so Entonces, juntos hacemos el plan. A veces es más fácil para los, para los padres hacer el trabajo, pero educa más pedir a los niños que hagan los trabajos. Educa mucho más, como hemos dicho antes, darles el modelo, modelo y exigir que hagan el entrenamiento. Um, there's no need to overload them with extra activities and new ways. Y no hace falta so, que you know, muchas actividades. Un poquito bien planeado um, está bien. Si muchos niños ya van a campamentos o daycare o algo de deporte, you know, no hace falta más actividades. Ya está bien. Que aprenden en el fondo de aprender, no hacer nada. That they're engaging in, and it could be overstimulating, right? So many es, transitions, es posible many new things, planear demasiado y entonces que es demasiado um, estímulo y no, is, no, es, no les tranquiliza. Right? So El verano tiene que ser divertido, pero también descansar, un tiempo de descanso, dejar, dejar que esté, dejarles descansar, dejarles no si tienen niños que, que tienen emociones fuertes en piano y a ustedes les están puede llamar, ¿no? nos puede llamar y ya hablamos de qué se puede hacer. Es una consulta gratis. Y nosotros podemos ayudarles en estos niños o estos momentos que son estresantes o difíciles en la familia. So, a lot of what Sade just told you can be effective for any age. So, I, those were absolutely Todo lo que ha dicho Sade es bueno I will share a little bit, you know, teenagers, you know, they're in their own age. And, you know, they often have, they do have 
big emotions. They, you know, they're, they're trying to find their place in the world. They're trying to be, they're trying to be more independent from you. Um, but, you know, sometimes they are struggling with the fact that maybe they're not seeing their friends as much, um, over the summer because they saw them every day in school and maybe our, you know, your teen's not driving yet. And, you know, so it's hard maybe to see some of their friends. Like, hey, school, and you know that, that it's not just our neighborhood anymore that maybe High school, 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 they're scattered school, in, 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 in other places. Places. Um, you know, they maybe ha have a job for the first time. So that brings a lot of new experiences for them. Um, and so being mindful that, you know, um, having some conversations around. So, so tell me what you did at work today. You know, how did that go for you? Um, just asking some questions and bring them with lots of questions. You know, when we start asking a million questions, they're kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just tell you it's fine. Um, but you're asking really pointed questions, getting them to share with you um, what's going on. Um, and so sometimes our kids are lonely in the summertime, yeah, you know, if they're maybe not working or they're not seeing their friends as often. Um, so just being mindful that there may be some emotions that are going on and, you know, maybe they're spending a lot of time in their room. Um, and maybe just kind of talking to them about um, so what's going on. Um, I mean, I will say that it's just so important to have these conversations with our children always um, when they're little, because I will tell you by the time they get to be teenagers, um, sometimes they want to shut down or move away from us and we've established that really open communication with them. They're more apt to talk to you, especially when they're not feeling great about something, because then they have that trust in you. Um, but, you know, I would just encourage, you know, um, not nagging them too much, uh, you know, asking questions, um, encouraging them to do activities that they enjoy, uh, and maybe helping to facilitate some of those activities, uh, just so they, you know, we get them out, we get them doing things, um, and really trying to support their choices, you know, getting their input around, um, you know, what activities that they enjoy doing, and how do we help facilitate that for them, um, so whether that's going to see a friend, um, you know, spending a day with a couple of friends, you know, can we help manage that for them, get them to where they need to be, those kinds of things, just so it takes some time, some extra planning, um, but I think you know, our teenagers, um, you know, they have those kind of different needs. And so just being mindful to, to um, oftentimes just paying a little extra attention and making sure that um, you know, things are going okay. But certainly if you have questions about that, if you do have a teenager who may be struggling, um, as Shade said, please do reach out to us. Um, we're sí happy to have some conversations with you, just some problem solving sí conversations, even sí um, just to help support you and, and your family and your children. Okay. Well, thank you so much. So if everybody could, oh, oh we're, not, we're, we're not done yet. Things. I apologize. Few more nope. things. <laughs> few more things, yes. Okay, so just a few resources to consider um, to help reinforce. Estos son los recursos que podemos pensar. Lo ve aquí en la pantalla. Um, so the public library has a summer reading program. La biblioteca siempre um, tiene actividades. Hay que buscar por la biblioteca, sacar tarjeta um, y pedir qué planes hay para verano, porque siempre hay. Um, then we have um, digital resources through the school um, website. They're typically available in the academics and the Luego, para studio, hay los, las so páginas, los programas de la computadora que han utilizado durante el curso, como ST Math, Lectura. Uh, math Space, we just had a webinar on that last night. So we will um, send out more information about Math Space if you're interested for that webinar. Um, but the recording will also be available on our YouTube channel in a few days. Um, Lexia is also online. It's a reading program. Um, um, so these are all available throughout the summer. If you have any questions about how you um, navigate those, 
reach out to your school. Uh, puedes to llamar a la escuela. Si sí, sí, están abiertos, so yo voy a llamar a la escuela y preguntar si no sabe cómo so utilizar so estos programas. O si se ha olvidado. Y también puedes contactarnos aquí en el centro de recursos de las familias. También tenemos clases como para padres de cómo educar. Estamos aquí todo verano y nos puede contactar cuando quieras. With picking out some books for you, some resources um, pertaining to what you're going through um, in that moment. Okay. All right. Again, here's some more digital resource links. Yeah, um, más que estamos so mirando una pantalla que te voy a mandar a ustedes que van a mandar. Hay muchos recursos, muchos links that we have um, curated, um, and a lot of these like pertain to the summer. So there's some um, we talked about the summer activities, Padlet. Um, there's some public activities. Um, so apoyo en la comunidad. Hay ayuda para la salud mental, hay actividades de leer libros, de leer en voz Y también hay programas para niños con necesidades especiales. Mucho aquí. For extra emotions over the summer with all of the transitions and all of the new things that come up. Um, some read alouds um, and read alongs um, for your family. We have a Padlet on that. And also some special education um, resources, right? So um, if you have any special education needs and you're not sure where to begin, Um, you can contact us and we can send you that Padlet and we can also offer some confidential consultation. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. So it is now time for some Q&A. So what questions? Ahora tenemos have? preguntas. ¿Quién tiene uh, preguntas? With regard to anything we shared today. Puede poner um, en el chat. And, or certainly um, anything that you have on your mind. So thank you. Um, Here is a family that they are new to FCPS and they want to be able to access those uh, resources that we're showing. Uh, Lexia, Maths, Lexia, How do they do that? So, um, is the one that they are an enrolled student currently in FCPS, um, you would have access to, so elementary age students, K-6, have access to SP Math. Um, and, Lexia, and then our middle, our seventh grade, and our math-based. Um, but you do have to be a currently enrolled student because that is part of our um, online student system, which is called Schoology. Um, Entonces, si estás so if, matriculada, uh, puedes if you're just coming into FCPS over the summer um, or are, are brand new and are not currently enrolled, para las familias um, nuevas, you know, if you want to give us a call, we're happy to kind of put it and we can get some resources, ayuda. Um, talk about some resources that might be available to you, um, but you do have to be a currently enrolled student to access Pero tiene que all of those tener, particular eh, La matrícula hecha. Thank you. Um, another one, another question says that one of the Padlets, the read aloud says not found. Do we need to make an account first with Padlet? So we can send you the link to that Padlet. It Vamos a, so están cool. hablando de, lo, de los um, enlaces, so alguno no funciona, pero podemos volver a mandar cualquier They, they are there, trust us, they are <laughs> there. Um, <laughs> toda la información. Por alguna razón funciona, pero Vamos a mandarle un correo electrónico con todos los recursos, con todos los enlaces. Um, Shade, you answered a question in the chat, but I thought that it might be beneficial for everybody to hear. So, mm -hmm. are those books shown in the previous slide? So, screen-free parenting is it? Todos book? estos libros you know, recomiendan. Um, yes, yes, it is a book. Um, 
So we have um, one of the se puede ver en línea estos libros que recomendaron in our, um, y también se puede leer porque son libros, no solo digital, son libros de papel. Y nosotros tenemos estos libros aquí en la biblioteca del Centro de Recursos y alguien puede pasar por aquí y pedir un libro. Yeah, and if since we're, I know we're getting close to the end of school, but school's got a couple more weeks. So if you want to email us, call us with the books that you're interested in, in um, first of all, you can access our library on our website. Puede ver so you go to the front page of our website la web, um, and uh, you know, la our biblioteca. library is online. So you can type in what you're looking for um, or just an idea of what you're looking for and books will come up that may be of interest to you. If you let us know what you're looking to check out, si um, we would be quiere, happy to send the book to your school librarian at your school. Um, and you can pick them up at your school. Quieren en if you su want to come take a visit and come out and see our library, we would love to have you también here. Um, we are located um, at the Dunloring Center for Parent Estamos Services. We're located Dunloring. in the corner um, of Gallows <coughs> and Idlewood Road La in de Idlewood, Vienna. Vienna, uh, so just down from the Vienna, or, or, yeah, the Dunlore, the right? um, no, but, uh, no, we have a library, and, you know, it's fun, it's a real library, so, you know, we have great tables, wonderful soft spaces, um, love to have you come in and take a look at the library. library. And then, of course, our staff is here and available to, you, um, to support you and help you find resources if you would like to also come in and visit with us. And we are open Monday through Friday, 8 aquí, a.m. to 4 lunes a viernes de 8 a 4. Um, I put the search link in the chat. So if you click on that and bookmark it, then you'll be able to search the materials that we have here at the in, in a chat. So any more, I'll give you uh, one or two more uh, minutes. Just put in your questions, last minute questions. We hope that this has been helpful to you. Once if you have any wondering, ayuda, um, please let us know. Y si hay um, and again, we'd love to favor, support you. Um, if no those of you that are maybe joining us today for the first time and are not sure about the Family Resource Center, um, y si usted we, again, we no offer consultations to you. Of course, the Sade has said that they're free and confidential. We have our library. And of course, you found us now. You found our webinar. Um, and we have a very professional channel, which is where all our webinars go to live. Um, so you can go back and rewatch and discover new things. Uh, so we'll put that information and all of that out to you as well. But, you know, we welcome those of you that are joining us for the first time, and we're thanking those of you that are coming back. Um, and um, some of you may know that we used to be called the Parent Resource Center, and now we're the Family Resource Center. So it's not a new center, we just have a new center. Nos llaman Centro de Recursos de Familia. So with that, ladies, I'd like to thank you. Entonces, quiero agradecerles. Y espero que todo el mundo tenga muy buen fin de semana. Que tengan muy buen fin de semana y muy buen verano. Take care, everyone.